Hi, it's Alpita and a welcome to the February 2023 overview. Okay, this is for all the signs. I'm just going to give you an overview of what February has for us. Okay, and I'm going to be pulling some cards as well. So February, we have all planets are going direct. Um, and so it's all full steam ahead. Okay, we have some planets that are still in shadow, but still, I don't want you to worry about that. I want you to move forward. Aquarius is the sign of innovation. Okay, and we have you know, full two weeks, a little bit more than two weeks, almost three weeks of uh, Aquarius left for us to take advantage of that. So one of the things of, about Aquarius is its its ruler is Saturn and Uranus. So Saturn is the taskmaster, the limit, you know, limitations. And then Uranus is a sudden change. It's innovation. It is um, the visionary, the, you know, out of the box thinker. So the epitome of Aquarius is necessity is the mother of invention. So when things get tight, when things are limited, that's when, you know, creations come about. Okay. We, we create things because we, you know, we're limited. We're, we don't like the conditions that we're in or we need, uh, we have a problem and we need to solve it. Right. So a lot of that stuff going on right now, um, this is a great time, especially right now in 2023. We are fully into the year of the Black Water Rabbit. Um, and I'll link below the video I talked about that with the Chinese New Year. Um, I really want you to think about two things in February, right? Especially our first, our first three weeks, which is uh, Aquarius season still, okay? One is career, okay? What do you love to do that you want to make money doing? Okay. Whether you have a job or you don't. Okay. Whether you're an entrepreneur or you have a job or a business, it doesn't matter. And two is self love. And I'm not just talking about self care with manis and petties and, and that stuff is great. But how can you start showing yourself that you love yourself? What are the things that you can do? You know, obviously eating better, working out, um, taking care of your body, putting lotion on, um, buying new clothes. And I'm not, you know, it's, it's not all about spending money. It's about how you treat yourself. When you go and buy something, are you buying a really nice quality? You know, it doesn't have to be the most expensive thing. Or are you settling for stuff off the clearance rack? And, and there's a place for that too. Don't get me wrong. Okay. But how you spend money on yourself really shows how much you care about yourself. Okay, so really being mindful of those things um, going forward. And with career, there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming up in February for all signs, okay? And I want you to catch, you know, the rest of the videos, find your sign and, and watch your video. But this year with the Blackwater Rabbit, there's a lot of things that are going to be changing with world economies and with the way that we do business, the way that... Um, employees are treated, the way that jobs are considered. And that's another part of self-love. When you truly love yourself, you do not let yourself be taken advantage. And before you say, hey, Alpita, I need the money. I get it. I've been in that place. I mean, I, with both my sons, I worked till, till the ninth month. Um, so I get it. Okay. But, 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 but it doesn't mean that we can't start looking at other options. Okay, that you can't start looking at some remote jobs or online jobs or creating your own business or, you know, I, I have several businesses. Um, so it's about looking at what you're really good at, what you love doing and how you can monetize that. Okay, and start small. You know, I started small. I started putting a few things on eBay and before you know it, I had 300 items and then I decided I didn't want to do resale. And so I scaled back and now most of the items on my eBay are um, my own things that I've created and I'm, I'm starting to post more things because I have tons of things that I've created and you know I, I want them to go to good homes okay that's another thing I want you to think about selling is about solving yes it's solving somebody else's problem but when you're talking about products I, I love to think of it as finding a good home for it okay like one of my favorite things to make are tarot bags this is one of my tarot bags 
I have quite a few of this pattern, this fabric. Okay, they fit an average size tarot deck. This is an average size tarot deck. Okay, but okay, this is one of the decks that I'm gonna be using today, right? It fits some of the oversize, like this is the um the Oracle of the Seven Energies that fits in here. Okay. This is um the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. That should fit in here too. Yeah. So most of most decks fit in here. There's some oversized ones like the Rorig and the Voyager that do not. I do make custom ones as well. I have tons over a hundred fabrics um, that are, I've got some witchy fabrics. I've even got glow in the dark fabrics. Um, and my parents were tailors. So even though I learned how to sew in home economics in high school, in junior high, um, you know, I picked up a lot watching them and, and, you know, the concept of mass producing, making your own assembly line and, you know, shortcuts and hacks and tips and things, ways to do things faster, right? I can, I can bang out about a hundred, uh, tarot bags in in about two days and that's not two eight hour days that's more like two four hour days <laughs> all right just because you know I do all the ironing and all the cutting and then the next day I do all the sewing and then I'll sit at night and thread in all the the ribbons so um there are so many opportunities to make money okay and the other part of that is just don't get discouraged. I know it happens to me. You know, we put our, our pretties out there and sometimes people don't respond or don't respond quick enough and, and it's very easy to get discouraged. So don't get discouraged if you're if you're planning on changing changing um, careers or jobs, or starting a business, just keep putting stuff out there. All right, let me pull some cards. This is for all signs. Uh, I am doing individual ones. Um, I'll, you'll, you'll see in my channel. All right, so what is our obstacle this month? So we have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is about overwhelm. I mean, it's about a lot of things, but what I'm getting is overwhelm, okay? Just a lot on your plate. It's very easy when we have ideas to get overwhelmed. So write them down. This is something I do regularly. I will write down all the ideas. Oh, I can sell my tarot bags at this place. Or I can sell them as gift bags. I can sell them as all sorts of stuff. I mean, I actually do when, when I'm giving a gift, that's what I give them in. I mean, my kids, I don't, I, I don't use wrapping paper. I don't use gift, you know, paper gift bags anymore. I used fabric ones. And sometimes I'll, I'll make a special one because I need a certain size. But um, not getting overwhelmed, not taking on too many things, prioritizing, making a to-do list. Yeah, I have a list every week of all the things that I, I need to do. I actually use um, a graphing notebook, right? A graphing composition notebook. And I'm going to kind of show you this. So these are the things that I need to do. Up here is my self-care, my fun stuff. Down here are things that I need to get done for the week. And then here every day I'll put down, you know, what, what I actually need to do, whether it's an appointment or something specific. But I don't put it on both lists. Okay. I have my main list of like, okay, like one of the things was clean the, the master bathroom. Right. So I just put it on there whatever day I get to it. Okay. I actually did it today because I had some time this afternoon and I needed a little break from being on the laptop. So I actually went and cleaned the bathroom, wiped some stuff down, dusted some things in there and, and took care of it. So I don't create multiple, I used to do that. There'd be like a monthly list and a weekly list and, and a daily list. And you'd see, you know, items would repeat. I don't do that anymore. It becomes overwhelming. Keep it simple. All right. So the biggest thing that we're looking at at February is overwhelm and not just necessarily overwhelm of like just too many things coming in, but overwhelm of opportunities, a lot of good things, even good things. We need to be mindful of those. Okay, let's say you've been job hunting and you get like eight, eight, you know, offers. Okay, go back to self-love. Okay, which one of these jobs would really honor how I work best? You know, the amount of time, how much I get paid, the hours that I'm working. Okay, the flexibility. What am I doing? Is it, is it things that I would actually enjoy doing? Okay, so even with positive opportunities, we still want to think about what is best for me, how this best suits me. Okay, all right. Uh, 
our second card comes from the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. And it is Escape is Come Home to Yourself. Oh, I love that card. Okay. So that was that first list on, on my to-do list. And I'm going to read you some of those things. Okay. So these are the things. And what I do, i kind of show you right here. Get really close. All right. I fill it in. M is for Monday. So I, I actually chant twice a day, morning and afternoon. All right. I already did my morning. I have yoga. I have this 40 day practice that I do. I have, um, what is it? I can't read <laughs> reading. I read twice a day. I read every morning. I will read something in the personal development, something inspirational at night. I like to read, um, fiction. Um, I have a four minute practice that I do. This is more about affirmations and tapping. I pull a card every single day. I want to know what my day is going to look like. Okay. Uh, sing and dance. These I actually have been doing in the shower. I bring the phone in there. I put it on, on, uh, on the, there's a, a tall dresser that we have in there that has, you know, cubbies in it to store stuff. I put it on there, put some music on it. I dance and sing in the shower. Okay. Color, um, put lotion on. Okay. Um, I've, I've got a really good habit of putting lotion on my hands usually after every time I wash them, but my feet have gotten pretty dry with this winter. So I put that on there. Um, create. Okay. And then I write it down. I put my little M for Monday. I put my little T and I'll just keep going. And this is this is not about, I have to do everything every day. There's certain things that I do every day, but in order for that to become habit, I'm using this to-do list in order to create it into a habit. If I create accountability for myself by having a list and checking it off or writing, you know, I write my little M, I write my little T, I can see, and I can also see what days is it a challenge or what things am I not getting to? Okay. And again, it's not about doing all these things every single day. Although there's certain things that I do every day. I do chant every day. I do most of the time I do yoga, depending upon if I've got some ache, and, ache, ache or pain or something. Um, every day I read, every day I do this 40 day journaling practice. Um, there's certain things that I do every single day. And again, by doing this little to-do list, this little, you know, marking it down, I'm creating that habit. And these are things that I enjoy doing. Yes, some of them are personal development. Yes, some of them are physical health, but they're things that I enjoy doing. You know, if you don't enjoy hiking, don't make that your workout for the, for the week, okay? Make it something that you enjoy. All right. So starting to take care of yourself, starting to do things like this, where you're, you're creating a practice, okay? Things become habit because we do them over and over again. And one of the ways to create a habit is to create some accountability for yourself. You can also have a, a friend where you're like, hey, I'm going to do these five things every day for myself. You know, can we check in every night and make sure that we've done them? Or throughout the day, can you remind me that I need to drink water or do my workout or whatever it is? Buddy up, okay? And you don't have to have the same things. You can have different things, you know what I mean? But just, you know, help each other out. All right. So what is the big thing that we're going to get out of February for all signs? What is, what is the big transformation that February is bringing to us? All right. Let's see what we got here. And this is from the seven, um, seven, the Oracle of the seven energies. Okay. Very interesting card, a tall tale. So this is Pinocchio. I do love this card. I know it, it seems like not a negative card, but it's about being honest with ourselves. It's about telling ourselves a different story. Okay. Now I know uh, Aquarius is one of those signs that we we're blunt. We, we tell it like it is. So one of the things that happens is that we tell ourselves the story of like, oh, when I was a kid, I couldn't do this. So that means I'm not good at that. That's bullshit. Okay. That is not true. Just because you couldn't do it as a kid or you haven't found time to learn that skill or you're cert you've had certain characteristics or certain habits does not mean that you can't change. But it has to be a change that you want and that really fulfills you. Okay, like one of the stories that I've told myself 
is that I can't draw. And that's not true. There's certain things that I'm really good at drawing and there's other things that are a challenge. But yes, there are some people that are naturally gifted. They come out of the womb, they can draw, they can, they're a Mozart, right? They're, they're, they're a, um, a, a genius or a prodigy, right? But that doesn't mean that we can't learn those skills, maybe not to that level, but that doesn't mean that we can't learn some of these things. So just be mindful. What are the stories that you're telling yourself? You know, where are you saying that you can't? Okay, that is one of the gifts of Aquarius is helping you see the, the truth that it's just a belief. It's just something that you, maybe you tried many, many times and you you didn't have success or you, you didn't have the right teacher or nobody taught you or you, you struggled with it and you didn't have somebody to be like, hey, you know, try this, right? Try this tip, try this technique, right? I always think of, regardless of what you think of him, um, Thomas Edison, where, you know, he was like, I didn't fail 10,000 times. I just found 10,000 ways not to make a light bulb. Now we don't want to spend our whole life trying to accomplish one thing or, or perfect one thing, but sometimes we do. Sometimes that's our life's work, right? So not giving up, not getting discouraged and saying, how can I look at it from a different angle? How can I look at it from a, from this angle? Sometimes I know one of the things that, um, helps me is like, well, what if I was specifically trying to fail? What would I do? And just following that train of thought and getting curious. Am I doing some of those things that I need to stop doing? All right. So the great gift of February um, that it's going to bring to all of us is the gift of honesty. Seeing ourselves truly as we are, which is unlimited. We can learn anything at any age. Okay. Yes, there are certain things like, you know, maybe, you know, if you're just starting to want to be a ballerina at 70, it may not be something that you could do as a career, but that doesn't mean that you can't learn how to dance at 70, okay? Sometimes those dreams have to pivot and adjust and bend and flex because of where we are and what we want to do and, and the rest of our lives, but that doesn't mean that we can't still find fulfillment and still be able to do those things to a certain extent. All right. I hope you enjoy this February overview. Please go ahead and look for your personal sun sign um, reading, a mini reading uh, in my channel, and uh, I will catch you back in March.